Okay, feet shoulder width apart. Okay, shoulders in front of your hips. When you're ready. First time gun buyer, Carmen Santana. It's being awesome. Is practicing rounds here at Mission Ridge on the northwest side of San Antonio. Actually, it was more towards protection more than anything. She started a self-defense firearm course <laughs> six months ago. Now I have two little ones at home learning the proper way to handle it, the proper way to hold it. The National Shooting Sports Foundation states gun sales reached record highs in 2020 and that women accounted for 40 percent of all sales, a trend. Times are changing. Mission Ridge instructors say they have been seeing over the last few years. We're getting more and more women interested in, in the sport itself of shooting, but also the self-defense classes. We see single women who are either recently divorced or have never been married, but they're out on their own. Women are coming in to, for a sense of safety and security. The Wall Street Journal is reporting nearly half of new gun buyers since 2019 have been women, according to a new study. What if you are one night at home and you're going to need it or you are out and about and doing groceries? According to a Pew Research survey, women are more likely than men to cite protection as the only reason reason to own a gun. It's unfortunate to think about but um, you know, women, I feel like they're coming into situations where they feel like they need to be armed more and more every day. Jennifer Knight is the director of retail development with U.S. Law Shield and a realtor. Always be prepared for what might happen. Back in 2020, she came face to face with an intruder at a home she was showing to a client. She was a new agent. Quickly discovering that there was somebody else in the home with us. She said there were several red flags. There was no real estate sign in the front yard. The grass was overgrown. After calling the listing agent, I grabbed the umbrella, which is the only weapon I have, and leaving the keys in the lockbox. I told my client, I said, okay, I think we're safe. She started backing out of the driveway and down the road, and then I started backing out, and that's when the garage door started opening. Knight says she quickly drove away and got to safety, but the impact of the experience stayed with her. I immediately called the listing agent back and I said, there is absolutely 100% somebody in the home and you need to call law enforcement. Before your incident in 2020, did you own a gun at the time? I did not. So I actually went and got my license to carry. And then I started shooting regularly. I got a firearm that I was comfortable with. Knight has created the self-defense and situational awareness program, Salty Grids for Realtors. One, be aware of your surroundings at all times and don't ever let your guard down. She says with owning any weapon, you need to know how to use it. There's so many options out there, or if you don't feel like carrying a weapon at all, or you don't feel comfortable carrying a weapon, then you can always take a great self-defense course same, like yeah. jujitsu. Up, down, and then slap. Figure out what you're going to carry, right. figure out how you're going to defend yourself, and make a plan to do so. No matter where's first place they're going to go. Knight is hoping her program can help empower other women who want to learn how to defend themselves. I think about us banding together. I think about women helping women. And if I could give advice to any woman, it would be to never allow your husband, boyfriend, father, or anybody else purchase a firearm for you because you're going to be the one who shoots it. You're going to be the one carrying that firearm. And back here at the shooting range, Santana is working on her skills. The San Antonio mom says she feels more confident. I feel comfortable. I feel more empowered.